My average profit from a single web design project is about $6,000. But if I upsell those clients on SEO, my profit increases by $18,000 per year per client. So in this video, I wanna teach you the process of transitioning a client from a web design project over into an SEO campaign, how to deliver it, how to prep them for that, and then how to get great results so they continue to pay you month after month. Now, the most beautiful part of all of this is if you learn how to upsell clients on SEO, you don't need nearly as many clients because before you had to land a new client every month in order to generate revenue. But with SEO, this starts to become recurring and you know exactly how much you're going to make every single month. So first, we need to understand that all of this starts before the website project even kicks off. You need to put SEO and marketing on their radar so that they understand that their investment doesn't start and end with a website, but there is more to do after that and that you're the person to do it. So there are certain things that you can say in order to prime them to be ready to pay for SEO. You can say things like, okay, we're going to develop your site in a way that it's ready to pick up on an SEO campaign right away. You can also make it easier to close the sale by saying, I'll lower the price of your website and we'll just roll that budget over into an SEO campaign. That way you can spend more of your money on actual marketing. Now for you, this doesn't matter because that money comes to you either way, but you're able to help them see that they should have budget for a website and for marketing and that you're doing them a favor by transitioning that budget over into more marketing efforts. Now, if you can get these clients to sign a contract for SEO at the same time as the website contract, and even better is to have one contract that covers both web design, development, and SEO. So a quick side note, you might be sitting there thinking, okay, Peyton, this sounds great, but I have no clue what SEO is or how to do it or how to offer it. And if that's you, that's totally fine. What I'm gonna do is in the description of this video, I'm going to add a ton of links to free trainings, free resources, free templates, everything that you need to get started. And then if you get to the point where you're ready to get more serious about SEO, I also have a paid course. Now this isn't necessary for you right now, but this is, I believe, the most in-depth SEO course that you can get. It's great for beginners and those of you that already have SEO experience. So make sure that you check the links down in the description. Now the second thing that I wanna talk about is making sure that there is a separation between design and development and SEO because without even realizing oftentimes us as web designers we do a lot of the SEO work especially the on-page optimization part of SEO during the development process and we don't even acknowledge it our clients don't know it and we never charge for it and so what we need to do is separate those services I'm not saying don't do the SEO stuff but make sure that you establish the fact that you are doing some SEO and that you can charge extra for that. Or if you're rolling over into an SEO campaign, you can do it all at once to save yourself time. But we need to make sure that we're separating those two out and making game plans and strategies for each. Now, if you're a Webflow designer, you can use my plugin Semflow, which is going to walk you through all of the on-page SEO stuff that you need to do. It makes it incredibly easy. So you can check that out down in the description or at semflow.com. So now the third thing is setting clear expectations. This is probably the biggest mistake that SEOs make is they get their clients all hyped up on how great the results are going to be from SEO because they're trying to get the sell, but then they can never fulfill on those promises. And so what we wanna do instead is set really realistic, transparent, and honest expectations so our clients know exactly what to expect. SEO is the long game, it's going to take time and it will be worth it in the long run, but in those early months, it might not feel worth it and your clients might get cold feet. One thing that I always tell my clients is at three months, you're going to be doubting and questioning whether or not you should have hired me for SEO. At month six, you're gonna to start to see some traction and you're gonna be glad that you did. And by month 12, you are going to absolutely love me. You're gonna be blowing up your business and you're never going to wanna to let me go. The next thing is make sure that you have a really clear game plan. You don't wanna sign a client to SEO and then not know what to do next. So you should know exactly what tasks need to be done every month, every week, and every day. If you establish a clear game plan, it gets much easier for you to anticipate the workload and anticipate the results. So this should not be guesswork. If you're looking for some type of template or checklist, I've got one that's free down in the description as well that's going to walk you through step by step. But in my course, I have an even more comprehensive guide with videos showing you exactly what you need to do at every step of an SEO campaign. 
And the last thing that I would recommend is overlap your services. And so don't wait until the website is finished and launched and published and then allow dead time before you start your SEO campaign. Instead, what you should do is start your SEO campaign before the website launches. You can start doing your checks, your audits, your optimizations, and then you just pick up right after the launch. Now, if you allow for dead time, all this is going to do is allow your client time to get cold feet and to question whether or not they wanna spend more money. But if you just fluidly get them into that SEO campaign, nobody's gonna bat an eye, and you're gonna to get to the point of the campaign much more quickly where they're seeing results. So I hope this video has gotten you excited about upselling your clients on SEO. Now, if you want more free videos on how to do SEO, how to offer it, how to price it, anything to deal with offering SEO as a service, you can check out these videos right here and make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for your time and we'll catch you in the next video.